Hey y'all, Kevin with Laser Pond Farm here. Wanted to show y'all something that we got for the pond. The pond's in generally good shape. It's been here since the early 50s when a previous owner dug this pond all with a Ford tractor. So, got fish hitting right behind me. Just kind of wanting to do a little bit of maintenance and add what we can to the pond. Looking to get a little bit better food source going. So I wanted to start out with some fathead minnows. This shipment of fathead minnows came from Anderson Minnow Farm. Supposedly world's largest is what it says on the box. Uh, minnow farm there. And this was just delivered via FedEx. So I stayed home today so that I could make sure I was here for the delivery. They will, however, um, if delivering to a residential location, if you have a shady place, the driver will leave them in the shaded spot. But I wanted to be here so I could get them opened up and into the pond as quick as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got. All right, first things first, we got the invoice here. says fathead minnows four pound box $120 and that $120 included shipping so it was a flat $120 it also has some directions here showing that it'll come by FedEx See here, float the bag of fish, the innermost bag only, in your pond or lake for 15 to 20 minutes. Then cut the bag open and release them. Do not do anything extra. It also has directions for holding tanks if you're going to put these into a holding tank. Also has directions that if there are problems with the fish, then it's got a list here. Telling you if they arrive in bad shape, make sure you take pictures or videos. We're already taking a video here. Uh, before acclimating, do not open the bag. It says contact us immediately. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what we got. I'm gonna bring y'all closer in so you can see. Right now I can't see through. There's a foil bag on the top here. All right, let's see what we got here. So that's foil and bubble wrap bag. The thing looks pretty good here. Let me get these out of this bag. They're double bagged, obviously, if the inner bag pops. Get a little added protection there. I'm gonna get them out of this outer bag real fast. Kind of try and get a better look at what we got going on here. So they came with some little cool packs and they even put those in foam bags to prevent the sharp corners of the cool packs popping your bag there. So just kind of looking in here, let's see, I only see two or three floaters so that's that's pretty good if you ask me to only have you know the two or three floaters when you're talking about four pounds of minnows and they estimate the four pounds of minnows to be about a thousand minnows all right so I'm gonna take this and get it set in our pond for the 20 minute acclimation time just gonna use this shallow area here go ahead and get them set in there Try and be gentle. See, even the one or two floaters that I'm seeing right now, they're trying to right themselves. There's, 
there's one that's not but for the most part that full four pounds of fish is in pretty good shape if they say a uh, thousand fish there's at least 99 percent of them still alive so i would say that's pretty good let these acclimate for 15 minutes and i'll come back and let you guys see when we let them loose all right we've got a solid 20 minute soak here get my boot a little wet but that's okay says to just cut the bag and pour them in i'm gonna try and be gentle here all right i've got this open you can see you know the one or two floaters there a couple trying to right themselves but i'd say out of a thousand you've probably got 990 fish 990 minnows to make it so i'm gonna spin this around here i don't want to dump them into the bank just kind of let them out i chose this spot to let them out because there's a nice shallow here off to the side that they can get a little protection in there's a, a bush in the water out here and there's a little bit of structure that we've put in that'll kind of give these guys some place to run and hide and hopefully not get gulped up right away by the bass and the crappie in here get the rest of these out all right they're in you see the just a few floaters one two and then you've got two or three trying to right themselves but for the most part They've all kind of dispersed already that quick. So, overall, I'm happy with my purchase from Anderson Minnow Farm. I'll drop the link to their website down in the description. They also have a YouTube page if you want to go check them out. Uh, none of this is promoted. I went and researched on my own, found a place to buy them. Um, now, granted, four pounds is nearly enough for a pond this size. But I wanted to, you know, kind of test it out first before I went spending a, spending a bunch of money. Uh, just make sure everything worked out how I thought it would. And I'm pretty happy we'll be getting some more. So thank you, Anderson Minnow Farm. And I appreciate y'all watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing and uh, give this video a thumbs up. This is Kevin with Lazy Pond Farm, signing off. <laughs> you see that fish strike? Some of these minnows are getting eaten already. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. That's the whole point of this. We'll fatten these fish up, right? <laughs> Love it. <laughs>